Salutations, friends and strangers of the interwebs. Welcome back to the channel. I am said Stevie. The videos just keep on a rolling. This is video number three in a row that I've recorded. And uh, this is going to be a fun one. Um, this package... Yeah, so I'm, I've gotten some packages from some really good friends uh, this week. Some really cool stuff. And I'm not going to do this one justice, probably, because I'm very naive to uh, something that's in here. But I'm going to tear into it. Unpackaging with the Devo Knives Stout prototype. Man, um, can't wait to get the production uh, version. Uh, I ordered the bead blasted uh, stonewash blade bead blasted bolsters and car, uh, black micarta. Uh, the pre-order for these is going to be April 9th. Today is the first. You'll, I don't know when you'll see this, but it'll definitely be out before the uh, pre-order. Get you one. Support the homie. Uh, Kevin, Lefty EDC, and Colin Mason Pierre, CM Knife Designs, who are Devo Knives. Anyway, rip into this. This comes from my Pacific Northwest brother, uh, Pocket Metal. Um, one of the most dearest, sweetest, most kindest, most gentlest humans on the face of the earth. Um, and, yes. Oh, don't want to turn his address over, so... Um, I'm going to unbox these, uh, actually slice into these off camera so I don't reveal his. Oh, um, man, I should have went and got that. Uh, this is actually the, um, box or the tube for, um, uh, and the wax paper for the, uh, GEC that I uh, traded him for uh, a little while back when we did our meetup. Um, I got one of the uh, Northfield uh, from him. Uh, it's the uh, number, the 941 and blue camel bone. Um, he didn't have the tube on him when I got it. So uh, he's finally sending that along. So there is that. And in here, mm. These are beautiful knives that I'm getting to open here. And because, so, um, I'm new, I'm getting into slip joints. Um, I've had slip joints in the past, you know, as a kid. I think everybody had slip joints, obviously. Um, oh, sweet. My camera's gonna glare on that, but I got some pocket metal stickers. Awesome. And <clears throat> some traditional pocket knife uh, stickers where this comes from. So, there's two packages in here. But as I was saying, um, I'm because of pocket metal, uh, I have gotten into, I'm starting to get into slip joints. Uh, I don't know anyone that has an appreciation for slip joints. A knowledge of slip joints more than pocket metal and I really enjoy uh, hearing um, everything about them from uh, pocket metal and he turned me on to oh he turns me on ha 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 he does actually he gets me going um, he has really introduced me turned me on to one, traditional pocket knives, uh, C. Reisner uh, Cutlery, um, and GEC. What, what happened there? Cut out for a minute. And when I was with him at the Pacific Northwest meetup, I got to handle uh, one of his uh, toenail clippers. And so, that's right. Uh, one of these is not for me. One of these is for someone else who shall remain nameless for the time being. 
But, um, yeah. So, unpackaging this here. Oh, interesting. It doesn't come with the wax paper. It came with a, a bubble wrap. Boom. Look at that bad mamma jamma. All right, so um, I thought these were actually different um, or s different variants, but they're not. I'm gonna set that off to the side here, set those off to the side here. So um, when I said I'm not gonna be able to do this justice, it's because I don't know enough about everything about this knife. Um, I do know that it's the elephant uh, toe style um, with your uh, uh, bolster on one end, a cigar style uh, shape there. I know that that is what that's called, um, but I don't know the intricacies and all the lingo when it comes to slip joints. But when Pocket Metal showed me his, I knew I was going to have to have one. And um, he was ordering stuff and decided to uh, order some for me and uh, for the other person as well. So, uh, we have this awesome, awesome elephant in the... Uh, so, this is ebony wood. Uh, you have the awesome elephant in uh, inlay there. Uh, polished uh, bolster there. And let's just look at this blade. So, boom. Yes. Look at that. How gorgeous is that knife? Full size knife, get a full grip on this. This is a three inch blade or so. Um, let me wipe this down. It is a satin blade, so it's going to get. Uh, um, got my forest tank here. I'm going to give this a, a wipe down. Nice microfiber on the back of forest tanks. Micro suede, microfiber, I can never tell. So there you go. Look at that awesome sheep's foot blade. Nice polish on the uh, satin. And the uh, etching on the blade is pretty awesome. Toenail clipper. Look at that. That They did a really good job on the etching. I like how the... Uh, I just, I really like the way that pops there. Um, obviously you got the nail nick on there. And then you see, um, let's see, will that pick it up? There, what does that say? My eyes are too, uh, I'm not going to be able to pronounce that. You see, I already don't know. What does that say? I don't know. I can't, my eyes are that bad and I still can't even see it. But... Obviously, uh, these are um, from Great Eastern Cutlery. So these are uh, made in the United States. Came, So, yeah, I'm sorry. It's the GEC number 36. Um, 1095 Carbon Steel Great Eastern Cutlery uh, in uh, Titusville, Tootsisville. Man, see, I told you, I don't know enough about these. I'm still kind of a... A slippy poser but um, I'm learning and um, I know that pocket metal is going to uh, if he watches this is gonna call and scream at me um, and rightfully so like I said I'm not gonna be able to do this justice but I'm learning guys and gals um, but I figured this was a good one so the GEC uh, the uh, 941 that I got it's a much smaller knife this is a bigger, more robust uh, knife, and I can definitely, I'm going to have to get a slip for one of these for sure. Um, but this is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. The ebony wood is awesome. Like I said, when uh, I handled, I was out to, uh, I had seen it um, uh, throughout the, uh, I had seen him with it before, but then when, I went out to lunch with him in Mrs. Pocket Metal. Uh, he had this on him, one of his uh, 87 knives that he carries on him. And while we were uh, having some Thai food, uh, he had passed me this and I fell in love with it. 
and I had to have it. Um, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous knife. And uh, like I said, I have a really new fond appreciation for slip joints. And um, I am going to be uh, getting into them more. And I think that this was a great jumping off point um, with uh, GEC. Yeah, this is very, uh, what do they call that a half stop? I've done some research. I think they call that a half stop. Okay, and he's gonna he's gonna freaking scream at me. I know it. But um, yeah, gorgeous knife. Absolutely gorgeous knife. Um, definitely check out traditionalpocketknives.com uh, over there. They're a great outfit. Great outfit. Oh, did I point out the button that this came with? I don't think I did. Focus. Coming out clipper number 36. Yeah. Um, not to be repetitive, but yes, I'm, 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 I'm finding my way with slip joints. And um, thank you to Pocket Metal, honestly, for uh, showing me the way, man. Um, it's not that I didn't care for them before, but I just didn't really have an appreciation uh, for them. And there's a lot more out there that I want to uh, get. Uh, there's more than just GEC. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, just this is a gorgeous knife. As a knife collector, um, I can appreciate craftsmanship. I can appreciate beauty in a knife. And this checks all those boxes. And it's made in the great state of Pennsylvania here in the great United States. So that's even better. That's all I got, folks. Thank you to Pocket Metal. Thank you to uh, Traditional Pocket Knives. Um, thank you to, uh, again, Pocket Metal for uh, the stickers. Thank you to Lancelot Leather. Thank you to Knife Nerd Reviews. Thank you to Kayla. Thank you to Canada Dry. Thank you also to Devo Knives for letting me check out the prototype. That's all I got, folks. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video right there, and until the next time, I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces!